Hey everybody, what's up? It's Kiki and I am coming to you guys today with my first impression of the new foundation that I wanted to give a try. And it is the Marc Jacobs Super Charge Foundation Genius Gel. Comes in this nice little black and white box. And the color that I got was Coco Medium number 84. And it comes in this nice glass packaging. And it has this black top which is very sleek and very nice. And this little silver mirrored band across it and then it's just a glass jar it does come with a pump which is a plus you guys know we always want a foundation to have a pump on it it makes it easier to apply and you don't waste as much foundation so it comes with a pump this foundation retails for $48 plus tax um, can be purchased at Sephora or I believe Marc Jacobs online I'm not sure but yes it can be purchased at Sephora I applied the foundation about three o'clock a little after, a little before three and it's now 10 o'clock at night so I've had the foundation on for a while and I do have some shininess here and some on my nose but other than that I think the foundation looks pretty good it looks like it did this morning when I put it on or this afternoon when I put it on y'all excuse me I'm a little bit yeah just got in the house but yeah so I think it held up pretty good um, I'm going to have to play with it a little bit more because when I first put it on, I was like, blah. But then, but after I finished my face, I really liked the finish of it. I liked how it looked. I do have combination skin. It used to be more of oily skin, but now it's more combination. I have some oily spots, some dry spots. So it does work for me for the, you know, my combination skin. If you guys want to know, I am an NW45 and MAC. Um, I do use the... Ruby Kisses Foundation, that's my drugstore inexpensive foundation. It's $5.99 from a local beauty supply store or from Ruby Kisses on, um, online and I love that foundation. That's my favorite foundation. So that is my everyday foundation. Even though I don't wear makeup every day, but if I was, that would be my everyday foundation. And this would be more of a going out foundation for me because it does make me feel made up. I don't feel it on my face, but I see it. I do look like I have on makeup. I am not used to applying more than one layer so I did want to do two layers just to see the look that I would get. I did that and I do have a made up face like I feel like I should be talking in an interview for Real Housewives of Atlanta or something like that. Like I feel like Portia with a lot of makeup on. Held up pretty nice and I still like the way it looked like I can go back out if I wanted to. Um, the only thing I did reapply was my lipstick which I am wearing Riri Boy. It does apply well. I'm not too fond of the way I applied it with the brush that I use. Like that's my regular go-to brush. But I just didn't feel it with that brush. It wasn't giving me life. Um, so I switched the brushes. But even still I'm not feeling it with those brushes. So I'm just going to have to find a more dense brush I guess. To blend it in. Because it was, it was looking like it was just sitting on my face instead of blending in. But just as far as the wear on it. It wears very very well. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, um, if you have any more questions, let me know. I love you guys, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. As well as, uh, and yeah. But just as far as the wear, 